What's up? What's up guys? Your boy DJ Mig Santillan back for another vlog and you know what? It's been a while, I know, I'm sorry. I've been busy with life and work, but you know what? I'm back for one more because this time my friends over at Suzuki decided to be so kind and be so generous and lend me a brand new Suzuki Swift. Great, isn't it? So I took the car on a little test drive over the weekend and basically, what can I say? I loved it. It's a great little car, perfect for city driving, very compact, perfect for traffic, perfect for parking, and it's matipid. It's super duper cost effective. So I'm pretty sure a lot of you are wondering what makes this car so special and the other half of you are wondering when is this guy going to shut up and just get to the car? Well, since you asked so nicely, let's get to it, shall we? So here's one thing you know about me. I'm a DJ, right? So I have to travel all over the place with my equipment, with my laptop, my sometimes my controller, and for that I need a good amount of luggage space. Plus, you know, amateur photographers, so I bring around a lot of lenses and well, like this tripod back here, it's still back here. <laughs> and the Swift's got all that. So this car is actually perfect for my lifestyle because for one thing, luggage space in the back is pretty good. I mean, I can fit two bags in there plus my controller and still get away with it. Now inside, you've also got lots of space for small items. You got your glove box, front door pocket, your console box tray, phones, wallets, keys, two front cup holders, passenger seat back pocket for documents and whatnot and of course down in the center one rear cup holder so the great thing about the all-new Suzuki Swift as well is that it's got advanced safety features like for example it's super light and it's impact absorbing so the new body is centered on Suzuki's brand new tech concept resulting in a structure that effectively absorbs and disperses all of the energy in the event of a collision. Now, it's got airbags all over, it's got one in the front, it's got one on the passenger side, and here's the thing, this is a city driving car, right? So just in case, you know, someone runs across, you can't stop in time, this car features pedestrian injury mitigating technology. The structure of the Swift's bonnet windshield wiper area the front huh? front bumper and other parts absorb impacts with the aim of mitigating head and leg injuries in the event of a collision with a pedestrian so okay one of the things i've been crazy raving about is the center console of the all-new suzuki swift so yeah you start off at the basic menu you've got your radio usb bluetooth bluetooth will connect easily as in see right there it's connected that's my mix right there You've also got options for media card, iPod, aux in, AV in. Basically, you've got almost everything in the center console that you could ever dream of while going on a long drive. Suzuki really thought of everything for this one. So here's the steering wheel. But what I want to highlight are the features. Over here on this side, you've got volume control. Volume up, volume down. Or you can just mute that so I don't get copyright struck by YouTube. You can uh, go forward, backwards with tracks and whatnot. On this side, you've got cruise control. You've got your cruise control, you got reset, you got set, you got cancel, so everything's there. And over here, down here, you've got the buttons for phone calls. You've got the button to pick up your phone, put it down, and my favorite, the button for Bluetooth. So I'm pretty sure at this point you're wondering where the heck do we stick our USBs? Well, there's the USB port right there. Click that up, you've also got the aux in. So, all you have to do, plug in your cable, get your smartphone charging. Now here's another feature of this car I'm actually really, really fond of. The reverse camera. Seriously, this thing is so useful in navigating. I mean, check this out. The thing is, I always used to park facing forward because I couldn't tell how far I was from the front of the parking spot. Now, I can park in reverse, and it shows me exactly how far I am. Plus, there's beeping. So in case you're not sure, the car tells you. And that's super close, okay, that's probably as far as I go. So one of the key features of the all new Swift, according to the brochure, which is online, which is great by the way, is that it has a minimum turning radius. Now, according to the brochure, that minimum turning radius is just 4.8 meters. I don't know about you, but that's really tiny. So I'm gonna test that out on one of the roads near my village. 
It's Sunday, don't worry, minimal traffic. Okay, I'm gonna try it. Wow. Okay, that's a lot of space left. Now that we've uh, thoroughly explored the interior, let's go for a few test drives, shall we? All right, so this thing right in front of me, the center console, it has a small screen that displays instant fuel economy. Now, this little screen right here, it's actually showing me how much I'm consuming while on the road. And currently, I'm, well, I'm stopped right now, so it's zero. But just a while ago, it said I was consuming 20. I was going at 20 at least, 20 kilometers per liter. Now, the thing is, for a lot of drivers who are very uh, price conscious, that's okay. That's actually not bad. For me, that's really high, actually. That's really great. Because I'm so used to consuming horrific amounts of fuel, especially with my old cars that I'm used to seeing figures like six kilometers per liter or eight. And believe me, that is not gonna work in this day and age given gas prices rising permanently, like, like perpetually. Okay, it's Friday night, I'm off to a gig. Wow, this is insane traffic. <laughs> you know, while stuck in traffic, I, like, I, I do like reading signs all around me just to see what the heck is going on in the streets I pass around. Mixed nuts, it's more than the show. Take what you will from that. So this is a typical Friday night for me. First gig, Poblacion here in Makati. And it's bad, traffic's really bad. You know what, that's okay because I left early. Plus, I know for a fact I'm not burning as much fuel as every single one around me. So I'm pretty happy about that. So after all the driving, after all the features, after checking out the whole car inside out, what can I say about the all new Suzuki Swift? Well. What else can I say except I love it? It's compact, perfect for city driving. Its small size makes it fit anywhere if you're looking for parking. Plus maneuverability, oof, through the roof. I mean, you saw the U-turn, right? Now, likewise for the interior, everything is technologically up to scale. I mean, it's got it's got that great dimming effect for uh, for the dashboard lights. Differentiate between nighttime and daytime driving. It's got a great center console. Entertainment system, basically, that's what the uh, manual calls it. And it's seamless. You can uh, switch between radio, music, whatnot, at the flick of a button. Plus, it's all touchscreen and it's all right here. It's all haptic touch. Likewise, fuel economy. I mean, where do I start with this? It's It's been like 150 kilometers since I started driving it. Sorry, Suzuki. I really put your car through a lot. <laughs> but, I mean, so far, my tank's only gone down by so much. And that's all city driving, so that's a, that's essentially like the worst kind of driving you could go through. Two of that was adds to traffic, so yeah, you know how that goes. Feature-wise, like the space, oh my goodness, I, I mean, I can't stop saying praises about the space because from outside, right, the Suzuki Swift looks compact. At the same time, if you look at the trunk, it actually has more space than you would expect from a hatchback. And inside, it's actually fairly roomy as well. I mean, I sat in the back a few times, especially when shooting uh, some of the scenes over here, and I fit in perfectly. No need to like put my legs at odd angles or anything like that. It was honestly really great experiencing the Suzuki Swift in its full. And I have to thank uh, Suzuki for allowing me to test drive their car, as well as to a uh, shout out to uh, Neil Santa Teresa, by the way. You know who you are, bud. In the meantime, I guess that concludes my little test drive of the all-new Suzuki Swift. It uplifts you. Once again, my name is DJ Mix Santillian Santi, of course, from radio. And you guys stay safe, take care, and as always, stay awesome. <laughs>